Today's five-minute reflection in the Psalms comes from Psalm 35. Um, This psalm is a lament of David, and so he's lamenting, he's crying out to God because of a problem, and the problem that he's crying out to God about is he has all kinds of enemies, and this seems to be a kind of recurring theme in David, is he has lots of enemies um, who are trying to cause him problem, who are fighting against him, and so David is, is crying out to God really as the divine warrior, that the divine warrior would do something about this. Um, he talks about how he's asking God to contend with those who contend against him, fight against those who fight against him, take hold of his shield and his buckler and raise up, uh, draw the spear and javelin against my pursuers. And so this really, this psalm has uh, bits of what are called imprecatory psalms to it. And this is where um, the psalmist is crying out to God to actually do harm uh, to those who would who would be enemies of either the person or God, <clears throat> really crying out that God would act. Um, and this, this is a really misunderstood thing at, at many times. Um, this is really just crying out to God for justice and that God would be the one to avenge rather than the person themselves being the avenger. So it's crying out to God for God to act, God to be the one who brings justice. And again, uh, the, he goes on, It's it's uh, for 28 verses, David talks about some of the, the, the difficult things and the horrible things that they had been doing to mocking and profaning God. And um, so I suppose if we're thinking about the one of the main things uh, that I'm reminded of is just specifically the, the fact that we, uh, in times of trouble, we have a God who who knows what we go through. We're, we're mindful, I'm, I believe, that in many cases this points to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the one who came in the line of David, the one who was ridiculed and rejected and mocked, the one who had many enemies, and who he himself, um, he entrusted his soul to his father, who dealt justly uh, with uh, the ones who fought against him. And ultimately, we know that God the Father used what even Satan meant for evil. God the Father meant for good um, in the the death of Jesus, the Savior who willingly laid down his life for sinners upon the cross of Calvary. So I believe in many senses, I'm reminded <clears throat> of the truth that that we have one, uh, our great God, who fights for us. And sometimes the, the war he's fighting is not the same war we are fighting. He's he's fighting an eternal war against the enemy, whereas uh, our in our temporal things uh, that we go through, um, we, we all too often don't see the big picture. And so this is why we can take great comfort in the fact that For those who know the Lord, he causes all things to work together for the good of those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. Nonetheless, we see in this psalm um, that we can cry out to God and trust that God will act no matter what we face, no matter what the enemy does to us. Um, uh, One thing practically that I'm kind of leaving with this psalm is, again, the reminder that we are to trust God for justice, that God will be, be the one that we ultimately uh, cry to, to to bring about justice. He's the one who ultimately will punish, not us. It's vengeance is mine, says the Lord. It is mine to repay, and we are to leave it to the wrath of God, as Romans even tells us as Christians. And so we see David here uh, setting, saying toward the end, let them be put to shame and disappointed altogether who rejoice at my calamity. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who magnify themselves against me. Let those who delight in my righteousness shout for joy and be glad and say evermore, great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of his servants. And then my tongue shall tell of your righteousness and your praise all the day long. And so um, so we're mindful that, that we are to cry out to God in our trouble, uh, mindful that he is the one who fights for us, that we are not to avenge ourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. Um, but we also look forward to that day that we know is coming when God will put an end and the enemy will be judged justly, all will be revealed, and his truly blessed ones, his righteous ones, uh, will be in joy forevermore uh, and bringing all the glory and honor to him. So that's what the psalm is all about.